Hey, okay, let me see if I can go through the process of um, setting up an Unreal or Unity project in GitHub. Uh, so I just installed Unreal uh, 5.2 and I created a new project and it's the VR test. And I created a new project straight off my Windows C, right? Windows C, Unreal test. You know, keep this as small as you possibly can. Um, and just right off the C drive is a really good idea. So that seems to be working. I, I got Unreal going here. It's the VR project, because I think that's what you guys are interested in. And so now let's go to GitHub. So on Git, GitHub. Let me go to GitHub. This is how I just like to do it. Okay, so this is me. This is TD2024. Um, let's go and create a new one. So let's just go to me. Repositories. Um, oh. I need to sign in. Um, oh, I hope so. Okay. Repositories. New. And create a new repository. And so, what did I call it on my C drive? I called it Unreal Test. So, I'm going to call it the same thing here. I'm just going to make it public, going to add a readme, and git ignore. Git ignore will be an unreal git ignore. J-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U, unreal engine. So this is probably where most of your problems have arisen from, and that you don't have a git ignore so it's just trying to commit everything okay i like mit license and so i'm uh, um test test unreal right description test unreal unreal test create repository there it is okay so now I'm going to go back to my folder here and where I, where I have Unreal Test, I'm going to rename this Unreal Test 0 or whatever. Put it in a different place. And then I go code, open with GitHub Desktop, local path, clone, Unreal Test. Now I renamed my original one. So I'm going to clone Unreal Test. Great. And now I go back here. And I should have Unreal Test and Unreal Test 0. I should be able to just simply go copy. And paste. Okay. So I first created the project, then I created the GitHub of the same name. I renamed my project on my local drive, and then I copied the stuff into where GitHub cloned. And as you now see, there are 472 changed files. So now current branch main, current repository, uh, Unreal test, initial commit, commit, commit to main. Come on.
if you have 5,000 files here, that's probably wrong. <laughs> 472 makes reasonably good sense. And it's committing. It's still committing. I have no, no idea how many megabytes this is. Probably a lot. So I'll pause the video. Well, as soon as I pause the video, it's actually done. Push origin. Push into origin. Ninety six percent, seven. Ninety eight, ninety nine. Oh, now I got to write objects. But I think that the most most important thing to keep in mind is you must have an ignore file. You must. So, so what I do is I create the project on GitHub and make sure I have the Unreal Ignore. Uh, and then I actually try to add uh, the project to it. Now, okay, this is actually pretty big. Um, I'm only at 9% upload, so again, I will pause. But... I know it's only 476 files. It's not 4,076 files. So the point is that you first build your project on GitHub with the same name that you, you're going to use um, on your local drive. And it should just be off of the C. I don't see any reason to bury it deeper than right off your C drive. Okay. So you can now see that all the, f no files in the initial commit. Okay, there are all, these are all the files, 472 change files. And for some reason it committed it twice with a new license readme and git ignore. Mm, 12 minutes ago, nine minutes ago. So this, this history is actually <laughs> essentially out of order. Uh, but okay, I, I can go with that. But the whole idea, again, is that you first create, this I can now delete, you first create your Unreal project or your Unity project. You give it a good name, you hang it right off the C. Then you go to GitHub, and you um, GitHub on the web, and you create a new project, Unreal Test. You do it here. I like to do it here. Um, I rename the project on my C drive temporarily, but I know it's the same name. Um, and now Epic Game Launcher should be able to find the project path, which is not changed. So, recent projects, Unreal Test, see Unreal Test. And there it is, for better or for worse. I, as you all know, I am not a fan of Unreal, but there it is.